All right, it's time for Channel 2's Pet Project. Katie Fine is here from the Houston Humane Society. I want to correct something right off the bat. <laughs> uh, Lucy is not a Cocker Spaniel mix. <laughs> Lucy's going to be a big dog. What is this? What is she? Yeah, she's a cattle dog mix. So she's going to be a big girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How about how old is she now, and how did you get uh, her at the Humane Society? Um, so she's two months old. We've had her and her litter for about a month already. She actually came in as an owner surrender with her mama and mm -hmm. five litter mates. Okay, okay. Um, so they've been in foster care just getting old enough to be healthy and mm -hmm. adoptable and so they are now adoptable and she is come on look this way sweetheart <laughs> she just doesn't want to show up she is so cute and she's so <laughs> laid back she didn't I want know. to wake up this morning no when you get lucy and there's going to be a fight to get lucy today at the humane society i can feel yes. it now you look at her and you say how can i not have her right yeah. but we're getting into hot season so we want to give everybody mm -hmm. tips on what you can do to make sure that you take care of your dogs and we've had the story about the child who was killed who was left in the car same mm -hmm. sort of scenario for animals but yes people kind of forget about how yes. they're impacted by the heat. Yeah, I mean, people think that dogs can't han can handle heat better than humans. That's not always the case. Um, so there's a couple really important things. One is be aware of ground temperature. Mm -hmm. So I know people might hear it all the time, but if you can't put your own hand on the ground for more than five seconds without it hurting, it's going to hurt the dog and it's going to spike their, temp their body temperature up. Yeah. Um, so just be aware of when you're, you know, your dog can easily get um, dehydrated and overheated, know the symptoms, which is heavy breathing, difficulty breathing, drooling. Um, if it gets bad enough, it can turn into seizure, um, diarrhea. I see so. people sometimes out jogging with their dogs, and the dogs are out there just panting like crazy yeah. and whatnot. It always, gee, a little bit concerned. Yeah. People need to be really There's concerned. a healthy level of panting. Right. right. Just, it, it's part of knowing your dog. Right. So, you right. know, if they're excessively panting and they're, you know, drooling a lot, then that's what you got to look out for. And please don't leave your dogs in parked cars. Yeah. Temperatures <laughs> go up really, really fast, and it can be very dangerous as well. Yeah. Okay, so there's some other things going on other than keeping your dog, making sure you keep track. What else? Yeah, so um, just be aware that um, more overweight dogs, older dogs, they can get overheated much more quickly. So you should really try to avoid the heat in all cases for that. Sunscreen, bug spray when you're taking your dogs out, make sure that it's, um, you know, it's pet friendly product. Yeah. And don't think about shaving your dog to make it better for them. No. Right? I saw that you right. said, don't do that, yes. right? <laughs> yes, you should never shave your animal. You can brush them, especially cats, yeah. interestingly enough. You can brush them, you can trim their hair, but don't shave them. It's actually an insulator, so it keeps them cooler. Yeah, well, no matter what happens, Lucy is cool. This <laughs> Get out to the Humane Society today from 11 to 530, located 14700 Almeda Road in southwest Houston. She will be there waiting for you. Yes. She is, When she wakes up, she's actually really cool. <laughs> 713 -43 36421. By the way, you can see animals in need of a family in Houston on our Adopt a Pet section on clicktohouston.com. It's under the consumer tab. They're great dogs, but none as great as Lucy is <laughs> this morning. So get out and get Lucy today. She's going to love you as you're going to love her. Okay? Oh, she's so cute. I know, I know. Oh, you're waking up now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right.